Hey, Eric. Yeah, so I've walked through this park or by this park almost every single time that I've visited Georgetown, and that's pretty often, but I never realized who this park was named after. The first black person in the U.S. House of Representatives, that would be Joseph Rainey, and I want you to take a look at what's happening behind me here. Right now, Georgetonians, they're celebrating him. They're getting ready to unveil this plaque. You can see that that shroud is still over the plaque, but they are getting ready right now to unveil it. You can't talk about anything in Georgetown without talking about the African-American contribution because the antebellum South and for many, many years after that, nine out of ten Georgetonians were totally were black. So in terms of contribution, we literally built half of Georgetown. Rainy Park is a place where people come to enjoy the peace and beauty of Georgetown. But how can people know the park's history without an explanation right there? Director of Main Street Al Joseph says this plaque will feed people's curiosity even more about the history of Georgetown. And now to have something that commemor commemorates the, the, the person whom this park is named after is really big. Rainey was the first black person in the House of Representatives back in 1870. Someone else who knows about being the first? That would be Carol J. Rowe, the first female mayor of Georgetown. Well, I think when you're first, you, you have a lot to live up to and you aspire for even more. So um, I can't even imagine how Joseph Rainey felt. Rainey was one of the principal writers of the South Carolina Constitution of 1868. He wrote the first anti-terrorist law and he was the co-writer of the Civil Rights Act of 1875, which helped more than just one group of people. Rainey didn't just help blacks, which he did, but he opened up doors for Asian Americans, um, Native Americans, even ex-Confederates, okay? So uh, this is some of the things that, that makes me proud of Rainey. Well, in just about the last 30 seconds, this plaque has been unveiled, so I'm actually going to give you guys a look. We're a little bit far away right now, but let's see if I can't zoom in and see all the folks looking over there around the plaque. But, folks, this is going to be here the next time that you visit Rainy Park, so you'll be able yourself to see this. You'll be able to read about the history. And if you're in Georgetown and curious about even more history, well, there are plenty of museums here to visit as well. Live in Georgetown, Tegan Brown, WMBF News.